hello welcome once again my previous video was about how to create http custom configuration file and a lot of people were asking how do they export it so that you can share with others so in this video i'm going to teach you how you can save your configuration file and then share it with others so you click on ssh then you click on the plus sign over here then you click on save config Okay, so when you get here, this is where we are going to type our file name. So let's assume the file name is great. So let me type great. And let me add emojis to it. Okay. After typing your name, you will check this box to prevent anyone from editing your file. After checking the box, if you want any message to display to the person you are sending the file to, you will check this box, notes. So what this note does is that it allows you to type any message you want the user of your file to see. Then after checking the notes, you move over here. So there's a hardware ID. If you want only one person to be able to use your file, you will check this box. Then you will come down over here. So you request the hardware ID from your user. Then you paste it here so that only that user can be able to use this file. And if you want to lock your file with a password, you check this box. Then you come over here and type your password over here. So you are not locking it with password. Okay. After making all your settings over here, then you move down here. If you want to set expiry date for your file, you click here. Then you set the date you want your file to get expired. After setting your date, you click on OK. And then you set your time. You want the file to expire then you click on ok and exactly that date and that time the file will get expired so after making all that settings you click on custom messages so that your mes the message you type here will display to the user after typing your message then you click on save save and your file will be saved to your file manager. So let's go to the file manager and check it out. Okay, so file manager. The file was saved to download. So let me open downloads. Then HTTP custom over here. And my file is over here. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button now. And also like this video. Thank you for watching.